friends, it's Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively and I am going to show you some things with the Masterfully Made Suite. I am going to do a free with online purchase card kit. If you want details, it's on my website, steamcreatively.com. And this will tell you everything that I'm going to do. But if you place an order with me, an online order between the 1st and the 10th of the month, you'll get two each of three projects. And so the first group of projects that I'm going to show you how to make in a video go with this masterfully made. So you'll get pieces of designer series paper, pieces of ribbon and embellishments. I did the projects with my um, team and they all liked it. So I decided I would do it um, for you guys. So it's with the gorgeous, we made stamp set and dies, which thank you Stampin' Up for making the names match. So here's the cards that you would get for, I'm going to do a video that shows these at the beginning of the month. And then you'll get this product to make the projects if you place that $50 order. But here's what I did for camp. And you, I'll show you how I did that. See all that shimmer on there? Oh, excuse me. I felt it coming, but I couldn't stop it or pause the video. So I apologize. So, um, I used, let me show you what I used. So I used this, um, designer series paper and I'm going to go back here to my favorite page in the catalog. Here's the uh, masterfully made paper, but this is my favorite page. It's the party page. It's got all the pretty papers. So the textured shimmer that comes in shaded spruce, balmy blue, and white is what I used on the front of this card. So that's what this paper is. And then the masterfully made paper. What they did, um, Sarah told us about this paper when we, um, she was here for our event in March, that they actually tore designer series paper and layered it and then took um, pictures of it and that's how they made it. So I've got to do this because I used my new favorite tool. Oh, I used my magnet and it's stuck. My new favorite tool is this. It goes on your take your pick tool and it has a hobby blade, a pick tip, and rotary perforating tip. And the pick tip is basically a stabbing tool because it's like to help set your brads. And that is a stabbing tool. Like the other one we used to have. I like it though. I'm going to carry it in case someone misbehaves. Just straighten them up. And then there's this. So for camp, I had them perforate. And I'm using this on my silicone mat so I don't tear up my table. Look, mixed tickets. Is that not the cutest little thing? So I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has little white nubby edges which I like. So I'm going to do this side and I wove it down the middle to create a little bit of a pattern. 
but they did it on their card. I didn't have them separated down the middle because, um, again, when you come to camp, the goal is for you to go home. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit different because I can. white space in there and not even white space because that's too matchy matchy okay look how fun that is it's got those perforated little edges I like it all right so I used that and again if you join my card club you never know what I'm going to send you. Well, every month's going to be different. So I took my Lemon Lime Twist and one of the images in the stamp set. And I wanted to, this was too stark white on my paper when I went to mount it. So I'm just going to shade it a little bit. Okay. And then when I run this through the mini boss, I'm going to use this edge. And this um, looks like perforating edge goes in. So you want to be able to see the perforated line. And then I used this as one of the dies that. Cut that edge. So let's run this through. Make sure I got the right edges going the right direction. One of these days, some genius person is going to invent a magnetic plate that we actually get to use, which is going to make me real happy. Come on, friend. I love a good magnetic plate. And like for things like this, I want it to hold in place. So I really wish I had that magnetic plate. I have to scooch it out of the screen to get it started because I'm reaching onto my table with the way things are set up. Okay, so see there's that adorable little perforated edge. All right. So this is going to go in the front of my card. Covers up some of those pretty things that I did there, but it's okay. Then I added this leaf that's cut out of Lost Lagoon. Oh no, Pretty Peacock. It's a Pretty Peacock leaf. So I used that leaf. And then I have this one. I'm going to take some basic white. And this is the berry burst. And I'm just going to cover this. Again, it was too white if I didn't do this. And then here's my pretty peacock. And up here, I'm going to stamp a thank, thank you. And then close these because I'm messy. Now I need to, to die cut this with this. I'm going to move that around so I can get my thank you in there and run it through. And you can see my table shaking. I didn't realize the whole thing shook when I did that. So here it 
is the and I can't tell you how many people threw away the um, thank you after they steamed it. I'm going to use this piercing tool to get this to come out. Come on. Okay. And then I clip this off. Put all my little pieces out. I don't know when you'll be watching this, but Today in Indiana, it's a beautiful day. Okay. So I'm going to snip this off. And this went behind here. And this one, take out this other piece. behind here. And I'm going to cut out. I normally don't cover the tips of those, but that thing is sharp. I'm going to cover it. Behind one, thank you. I'm going to add a ribbon. And then when I tie my ribbon, I just do a simple, I'm not going to try to tie it under, around those things. I'm just going to do this. And stick it on with the glue dot. And then when I set up camp, I didn't have these yet. I'm not sure why. Because I normally try to order all the bling. But look at those. So these are the adhesive backed sequin trio. So we're going to add some of these. Because we can. Oh. My take your pick tool is out on a camp table and I need to get it and bring it back in here. And then this is the one from camp. And it screams that it needs a few of these too. Oh yeah. All right, there you go friends. Thanks for joining me, and again, I'm going to have a video up at the beginning of June that I'll show you the projects that you'll get all the products for. I can't stamp for you, but I can show you all the product. So that's what I'll do for you, is show you the product, and then you'll be, if you place a $50 order, you'll get the things to make those cards. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of this. Because when I'm all done with you guys, I take a picture of the cards so I can post them when I post the video. But I think I want the ribbon in the picture. Maybe I want this tool, too. Normally, I just take the cards. Who knows? Maybe I'll stage it a little bit. Who am I? All right, friends. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to stay with you soon. Thanks. Bye.